kickers, fitness fanatics, and sports fans. Today, I'm going to demolish one of the myths that is being perpetuated by people who are against or more inclined to be one or the other. See? So people who are against body weight exercises or they have weight machines and weight training gadgets to sell or that philosophy to sell, they will tell you that push-ups and such are good, but after 25 reps, all you're doing is building endurance. This is absolute poppycock horse feathers, balder dash. When you can do 25 repetitions of something, for example, a certain type of push-up, even on the board, now you're building strength endurance. Not just endurance, strength endurance. Next, are you actually also building strength? Well, hell yes. Because, for example, if I were doing regular push-ups and I worked my ass off to get to 25 reps, then I work my ass off some more and I'm at 50 reps. Somewhere in there, in, in between 25 and 50, I'm going to come up with the idea that I can do something different. That maybe I ought to do a one arm push up. You see, if you can only do 10 to 25 push ups, I seriously doubt that you can do a one arm push up. Now, you might say, oh, I can do a one arm push up. And, yeah, but are you maxed out at 25 push-ups? I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. Now, let's go further. One arm is not the end of the game. We've got handstand push-ups, and we've got holding yourself on your fingertips. So, we're doing fingertip push-ups, and we're using all five digits on each hand we get to 25, that magical number that all of a sudden, now everything is just endurance. You really think you're ready to do fingertip push-ups on just one hand? Or are you ready to do fingertip push-ups on one hand with just the thumb and the index finger? Ah. Or are you ready to get into a handstand on your fingertips? Or are you going to hold a handstand, a free handed, free standing handstand, by the way, with just the index fingers? Answer that. If all you're getting is just endurance, then how do people get to this next level with these exercises? It isn't just from doing more and more and more and more reps, but that is part of it. Now, the other part of it can be isometrics, can be the deep breathing, can be the mental programming. All, all combined, all going together. But to say that all you're doing is building endurance is totally false you're still building strength. It's called strength endurance. But are you building strength in and of itself? Well, show me anything that you're only building strength in and of itself. In and of itself, you're only building strength. Nothing else. There's no endurance that goes with it at all. There's no power that goes with it at all. So these are tricky little ways people have to discredit what really, really works. The fact of the matter is, is that 
you can create bigger, thicker, bulkier muscles doing nothing but body weight exercise. You can also create a leaner, tapered, ripped, shredded, cut physique doing nothing but body weight exercises. And guess what? The same is true of people who lift weights. There are people who are tall and skinny and they lift their asses off and they're tall and skinny. There are people who are short and stocky, they look at a barbell and a set of dumbbells and they get big and thick. That's the way it works. Every single type of exercise, whether we're talking body weight or we're talking weight training, has variables. Some people who do body weight exercises, they get strength endurance bing, fast, really, really fast. Some don't. Some people's bodies are built for endurance, for strength endurance, and some are built more for strength and power. So that person has to work a little harder and a little differently to get the strength and but let me tell you, if you're a fight fan, if you're a fan of NHB or MMA, boxing or wrestling, strength endurance is where it is. <laughs> if all it was is who can lift the most weights, but you don't have to lift it more than one time, well, my goodness, all the matches would be over in six seconds. They take a lot longer than that usually. So the one with the strength and the endurance is the one I'm putting my money on. All righty, let me finish off here with a couple repetitions on the push-up board. Again, I've got a lot of questions coming in about this. Where do you get them? This is the best one I've found until I create my own. I get this at PersianYoga.com. Uh, maybe I'll leave a link below uh, this video so you can see that. All right. Oh. Wow. In another way, to create more strength and endurance, or just strength from body weight exercises, is to slow it down. Slow it way down. What to do as some people say smash the like button unless you want bad karma you do this pass this around to your friends on social media or just wherever they are and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because we're just getting started
Kicking ass.